Armor went out west and was just just massacring gadites, just left and right. In the uh, buffalo. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, he was part of yeah killing the buffalo you know, and all that. I know what the buffalo soldiers was to go out and kill the um do this hunt this. Yeah. And I, I still got pictures from my dad's side of the family. Some of his family from back there dressed, you know, the buffalo soldiers, you know. Holding, holding a gun and everything, holding that little one. They killed the buffalo, killed the Indians, period, you know, buffalo soldiers. You know, so the white man gave them the gun. They mowed down them. all the meat, the buffalo, and just killed, yeah. just indiscriminate, you know. Yeah. You show, you had that picture you showed me. Uh, yeah, yeah. They showed a, a mountain of buffalo. Yeah, yeah. They, they almost drove the buffalo to extinction because of that. Yeah. In a similar picture to that in World War II. And that's that's yeah. the spirit of him and uh, Durrell. That's the Simon, um, Reuben. They got that Reuben spirit. <laughs> Durrell did too, man. Reuben was uh -oh. a bad motherfucking warrior, man. Reuben? Oh, shit. I heard they killed all the um, alpacas too, because you know, I heard that um, there were no um, sheep over here in, in the United States. They brought this, this sheep. You know the sheep? It, it was buffalo okay. and alpacas and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because they said that they, 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 got, they got jealous of the, uh, the white man seen the alpacas. They seen that the, um, the, the hair on it was lighter and warmer than yeah. the crazy. You know what I'm saying? So they, yeah. killed, they went to, to the alpacas and all. That's why you don't see alpacas now. They killed little they ones. native to America. Oh, man. Yeah, because they, uh, they brought a lot of, uh, the white man did bring a lot of shit over here. Yeah, the, the animals, horse, they the didn't horse. belong here. The horse, yep. Yeah, the horse ain't native to this nice thing. Yeah, because nice but then you start looking at the, the cowboy movies, you know what I'm saying? They came, the, the horses came from um, Spain Arabia or somewhere like that. Oh yeah, yeah, in the Middle East. Yeah, because Israel had horses. We had, yeah, because I heard about that, yeah, about uh, the Spaniards had a bunch of horses down in Mexico. Then one day a big giant horse stable, uh, they busted open and all the horses escaped. And they just all wandered up into the uh, North America. They multiplied like a the Yeah, they... Like the pigs, he brought pigs. Oh, yeah, they, they said that... Let two of them go here, let two of them go over here, and they started having babies and all that crazy I heard actually a lot of the diseases in South America came from the swine because the, the, the type of pigs they brought over weren't native to South America, and they had all kind of diseases and bacteria that the people weren't used to. Because they said a lot more people died from diseases than they did by the sword in uh, South America. If they, uh, I've read an article on it or something. They show you that in Apocalyptica. Yeah, po oh, they sh yeah. You seen that movie Apocalyptica? How you say it? Is it Apocalyptica? Apocalypto. Uh, made by Mel, Mel Brooks. Uh, Mel Gibson. <laughs> Mel Brooks. Yeah. Mel Brooks would be Mel a better one. Yeah, Mel Brooks is bad too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they showed you in that movie that uh, oh, yeah. before before the conquistadors got to the shore, the diseases that they carried with them got to the shore before they did. You know, through the wind and stuff. So the diseases got to the people before the actual uh, armies did. Uh, like bodies drifting that they threw overboard or something like that. Or, or animals. animals. Just plus, hell, man. Well, plus you know, because uh, yeah, you know, eating abominable things. They well, were already living abominable. Yeah, they was. Because you know, viruses are airborne too, though. So yeah, yeah. they just they could blow through the wind like a seed. You know what I'm saying? That's right. They're saying that AIDS already multiplied, man. Yeah, I heard about the AIDS, yeah. We was looking Airplane. that up, the AIDS in Atlanta and in Indiana. What are you guys doing? Some of them we are preaching. Mr. Biden, what you doing? We're prophets of the Lord. Um, like I don't like cameras. You gotta go. Oh, yeah, I'm public. Okay. He's a freak candy. Stole that. That's when I steal. I got a felon for half. You get it for half. You get it for half. He hustling. I shouldn't be eating no candy, man. I shouldn't. Nah. Shit, my teeth hurt, shit. What's your teeth hurt? Oh, I don't know. Oh, shit. 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 Clings to it. You ever you heard of oil pulling? When you squish it, you yeah. use oil. And some reason, some by oil makes the bacteria cling to it, man. Spit it out. I've been using peroxide and, and for years. Tooth, that tooth sensitivity, after a few days of doing it, it's gonna you'll never have it again. You'll never have it again, man. Because it's some bacteria that's making your mouth do all kind of crazy shit, man. You know? I heard too, uh you got stains on your teeth. I heard you can use a little bit of charcoal to take it off. Charcoal? Yeah. Did you get real bad stains? Yeah. Yes, they used to brush. People still do. Use um, 
charcoal to punch their teeth. It's gonna look nasty. I don't first. think you can do too much of it though. It's gonna, yeah, you use you use a small amount. Yeah, I mean they'll it's do it too look often. Bad at first till you reach your mouth. But it works. Man, my teeth got all fucked up from my years of heathenisms. Right, right. I used to smoke cigarettes. That's shit. all right, though. That That's all right, though. Because yeah. I ain't trying to shine and look pretty for these bitches anyway. Hell no. Yeah. I ain't got shit to smile about in the first fucking place. <laughs> shit. For real, man. Yeah. Got a mother. I ain't, what the fuck we got to smile about besides pushing this tree? Oh, wow. Bitch don't give a fuck about your mouth anyway. Yeah. Nah, all she cares about is your, your, your yeah. Verse 18. First, I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land. They have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of the detestable and abominable things. And that's just to carry on with this old song. Yeah. About to bring the new swine. Like yeah, because they be eating that swine too, man. You ain't supposed to be eating that shit. Hell no. Mm -hmm. Hell no. Tell that to our people though, man. They are, that's the last thing they'll want to give up too, is the you fucking... Can't I can't eat bacon? Oh, I can't join y'all. Y'all know that. Can't join y'all. No. <laughs> Leviticus 11 and 7. Like you're... <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> now I was just thinking about Guy's uh, brother. When we went to... He's a guy... Party, yeah. And he's like, boy, we cooking that swine, boy. You can mm -hmm. smell it from five miles away. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it smells so... Shit, and Guy was eating. You know he was. He was eating that shit. Slavery just died. I don't know who it was. Who did? Somebody from slavery just died. They get sick. Oh, the news thing's on the cross. Yeah. We in the spirit of death. The SWAT situation in Linden. Yeah. Fuck Linden. I hate that. That's just wild up there, man. Look at that old woman, man. That's somebody's grandma. Yeah. 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 Still looking for some dick. Still looking for a young man. That makes them feel rejuvenated when they get popped by a young man. I just know this shit gets dead out here after six, don't it? Yeah. Here we go. Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be clove footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. Yeah, you ain't yeah. supposed to come by that. Every time I said somebody, she's like, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't be doing dishes or nothing like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like I might like go in there and once in a while, I'm like, hold up, man, they just cook bacon in that. You know what yeah. I'm I ain't supposed to touch the car, because I ain't about to do no dishes. I ain't about to touch that. I ain't about to throw away your motherfucking um, wrapper to the shit. You know what I'm saying? None of that. You know, too, when they cook that swine, too, uh, you can't even get that smell out the dish, out, out the, uh, the yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, I know yeah. out the skillet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Once you I cook think. it in there, that smell just stays there. Why well, you think like, like you, you cook bacon? So why you eat bacon, though? You know what I'm saying? You, you cook it and take it out the pan and eat it. It's already salted. That, that's the that's the um, yeah. that's the um the poisons in it. In it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The taste so salty All that and grease, stuff like that. Yeah. Then you take eat, eating something that's good, but really, you know what I'm saying? You get poisons. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Disgusting. That's just yeah. and it too. That's the hardest smell to get out your house when after someone cooks some bacon or something. Mm -hmm. You can't get rid of this. It just lingers. Know. Don't know whether me to even do that. Yeah. So you know you ain't supposed to eat that shit. Mm -hmm. I kicked someone out of my house before for coming to my house with a pepperoni pizza. They came and they was shocked. I was like, I told you not to bring that shit up in here, bro. You know? You want that man, shit around me? Too. If, if we supposed to read it under Caesar, right? And do what under we under his laws, right? Right now. So just say, just say that. He do pass the, the law with, with the marijuana, right? And he got it in all, all these dispensaries. Is it be all right if we sell it? No, nah, hell no, you can't sell it either. So it's under, witchcraft. Uh, so it's still under witch. the laws of the Bible, or yeah, you know what I'm saying? the laws of the Bible, you still can't Well, sell I mean. It. But if we was reaching, reaching under the not, not for the point. Gonna, that's your job, man. Not for the, yeah, that's a job. But I wouldn't say for the point of getting high, because the crop itself, though, I mean, a, use a, it is a medicine, and it is, uh, uh, gar you can make garments out of it. You yeah. make paper. I mean, kind of shit yeah, it's like endless things you could do with it. When you fire it up, it turns into a when, Actually, when you uh, read it, they said that the, uh, the ropes that they used in the ancient world yeah, on the ships yeah, the strong, was all yeah, made from him. Yeah, him. The, the white linen that they would wear was made from him. I had I had a pair of um, Nikes made by him before. You know what I'm saying? They probably last forever, too. Yeah, yeah. Playing on Nikes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, folks, probably cold. No, I mean, 80, 90 bucks at, uh, oh, yeah, City Center Mall. Yeah, I, well, when I was looking into some of the history, like, uh, cause 
You know, a lot of the so-called the founding fathers of America, they were uh, they all grew hemp. Yeah. Uh, Benjamin Franklin had a company called Rolling Hemp. Uh, yeah, but you can't go buy growing weed, man. And nah. Here yeah. Because then you just contributing to their foolishness. Yeah. What about being wild? I would like to give me some of that oil, though. Oh yeah, they just they they said oil hemp oil is legal. Make it your own, shit. Yeah. That's it. Stop seizures. That take a lot. People have seizures. Oh yeah, seizures. Feet or whatever. Yeah. I see. I seen that happen. Dogs even can drink it. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Stop them from being sick. Yeah. Wow. Don't know. But look out. You let the dog out. He goes sniffing around the door. He don't just shoot the first thing. Nah, nah, nah. The dog sniffs around. Until yeah. he find the one he's looking for. That's, he, that, don't just, so, he just don't go and chew anything and everything. Man. That's what I heard an old uh, Gadite shaman or whatever say. He's like, you want to find the medicines, just watch the animals. Follow the animals. The animals will show you where the medicine's at. Follow the animals. Yeah. Hey, they'll show you what you can eat, too, and yeah, stuff. You yeah. be out in the forest, just watch the animals. Good to have a dog, man. Yeah, dog, dog. dog will sniff everything out. Yeah, yeah. The prophets had dogs. Job had dogs. Remember, he said he ain't going to let them wicked motherfuckers lay in his dog around his dog. See, they're gonna fuck him. Let me just get it, man. Let me just get it, man. <laughs> he won't let hey. him around the dogs of right. his flocks. Quick one, real quick. Okay, go ahead, man. Uh, let's do the, uh, it's, like, it's like Exodus 20, uh, 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in the cause to decline after many to rest judgment. So if they start selling weed, you know, they make it legal, you know, don't try to assist to it. Right. The scripture say, remember we was going over, uh, what was that, Friday, your live video? When was the, 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 what was that? Um, um, Leviticus, I think it was the 18th chapter. They talking about not sleep with your mom and your dad. And yeah, your it is. Your sister. I think that is 18. Let me read. The, let me go before I read this joke. Let me go back to that. That's the thing. Let me go back to. Rob, that. Why are you getting that? I was about to say about the job. You know, almost everybody's got a job. We all, our jobs, make us break the law, in all of our jobs. Yeah, for real. And he saw know that. I think it's truth. Listen, this is he saw truth. Know I haven't had a job in two years, bro. Since I've been learning the Bible, so when I ran to y'all over there, that's why I really started looking into this. I haven't had a job, but I, I've been eating better than I ever ate my whole life, for real. Anything, I never, I only gotta have money, bro. You hear right, me? Anywhere right, I go, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. It, it, it just come to me by like that, you know what I'm saying? If right. I just try to bring the word a little yeah, bit, you know what I'm saying? I was like, like that. that. He'll tell you when I first, uh, like I, I was fucked up for a long time with no job. When he first started teaching, I was broke as fuck, and I had two little boys to take care of. You know what I mean? But I just lucky. I, I got this little job I got now, making nut. I, I eat my daily bread. That's it. You know what I mean? But the, little, the Most High hook you up with something though, man. He gonna give you some change. Yeah. You doing what he tell you to do? You start you find you know what I'm saying? What he asked you to do? You start doing it. That's when he start helping you. Yeah, he gonna feed you, man. Take one step to him. He gonna take two to you. Here you go. Leviticus the 18th chapter, we start at one. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the Lord your power. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein <laughs> ye dwelt, shall ye not do. Yeah, we ain't supposed to be following after the ways of the Egyptians. <laughs> uh, contra, uh, made, that would make all kind of people mad saying that. <laughs> right, right. They were like, that Bible's bullshit. Not the Egyptians are my people. Right, right. He said, Shut That's down. blasphemy to Israel right there. You yep. tell Israel yeah. don't follow Egypt, bro. Yep. They ain't trying to hear that. Me too, because that's who had us in slavery from the get go. They don't, they don't want to hear it. Is that the first slavery we went into? No, the Babylonians. The Babylonians had us first. That was, um, well, the Egyptians was the first, though. Yep. Well, that, that was the original. That was the original. But, uh, because you know, they don't understand. That's spiritual as hell to how. Israel was in uh, slavery in Egypt 400 years, then slavery in America for 400 years. And it, it, if you can't see that connection, right? And how there's no new thing under right. the sun, then you know you were spiritually retarded. So you say you gonna give them double, so they got a thousand coming. Wow. Yep. That's not the Hamites. That's, um, that's Esau. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you talking about uh, Hamites? They don't. Have, they gonna catch hell too. Bro. Yeah, they. Yeah. They, they, they gonna, gonna catch hell too. The they gonna have to rebuild the kingdom. They gonna get hell. They gonna catch hell. Well, you hell, know man. they catching hell right now. You see, uh. They, they're not doing too good over there. The Sudanese ain't doing too good. Them Ethiopians, they've been starving with please, famine for years. They send us three dollars and seventy-five cents a month. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they got yeah they got half telethons to feed them people. Right. 
flies be beating their ass. Yeah. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Flies be whooping their ass. Yeah, they got flies all up in their so eyes. Flies. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Fly doing dancing on their eyes. And that's funny too, cause you know them Kushites descend from the ancient Babylonians. The ancient Babylonians were Kushites. And now they all starving, getting hit, plagued with famine. Yeah, it's gonna go into that. After the Egyptians and after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you shall ye not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. <laughs> and that's what you're talking about, that weed, man. Because they pass all kind of law. And Jake, like, they pass a law. They pass a law. That means I can be a faggot now. And I think that law is all about protection. That's all protecting faggots. Now that married couple can get insurance. Better insurance than a male yeah. female married couple. Yeah. Better tax, insurance. Tax breaks. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So what good is it to get married to anybody? You know what I mean? What, 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 what does it mean? That's crazy. There's man. no holy ordinance, you know what I'm saying, in, in this land? No righteous judgment. No righteous judgment. You shall do my judgments and keep my ordinances. To walk therein, I am the Lord your power. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord your power. Man, he gonna do, he gonna do what, 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 what he gonna do for you, you know what I mean? Like, like I can go off, I promise you, you know what I'm saying, it might sound weird, but I can go four or five days without eating, bro, not even feel the hunger pain. You know what I mean? That's easy. This is the, this the, this the food right here. You can, it, you get, you know it gets easier the more you do it, though. What the Lord yeah, say? Because, you know, because in these final days, you know, we might have to be out here like that, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah, for real. Like it ain't gonna hurt me, it might, help, yeah. it might hurt everybody yeah. else who around me. But you know what I'm saying, I might find a turn up, you know what I'm saying, every four or five days. Or hey, there's, there's actually food everywhere in the ground. Yeah, right. Dandelion, you can eat dandelions all day. You can eat motherfucking plantain, dandelions. Yeah. You can eat violets. Damn. And the violet, the, the, the little plants, they're everywhere. The little cloves. Yeah. Cloves, cloves, yeah, cloves. yeah, the cloves, you can yeah. eat them. Yeah. Too, yeah. They're everywhere, man. They're everywhere. Yeah. Oh, you can eat acorns. Yeah, oh, yeah. Make yeah. some acorn stew. Yeah, dandelion soup. You can, if you stone, soup, 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 rocks got uh, minerals in them. They, oh, yeah, you can yeah, boil yeah. them. Boil them rocks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you need some vitamin C, you can go up in the forest, uh, take you some pine needles mm -hmm. and boil them and drink and drink the juice that got yeah. vitamin C in yeah. it. Oh. Good for energy, too. Yep. The carbs in it. The carbs, yep. That's crazy. You can make something into a tea and it has carbs in it. That's crazy, man. Half these damn plants out here are edible, man. You just gotta know. Oh, they just sell an insecticide to kill it. Oh, yeah. You know? Because they teach you, oh, that's a weed. That's a weed. That's a weed. That's a weed. Man, Israel gonna get it, man. They gonna get it, man. Two thirds gonna get it good, man. Oh, yeah. They gonna get it real good, man. And, we, and the saints gonna get looked out for, man. We gonna have plenty, man. That's what the Lord said we gonna have plenty, man. I can't even imagine how he gonna do that, you know? But, you know, he can, he can just make. Water just come up out the ground he, or out rocks. He, know? Gave, he gave the Israelites manna yeah, from yeah. heaven. Angel manna. Angel. Angel food. Whatever that could be. That, actually, that's what Whatever it means. Whatever it is. And, <laughs> yeah, and he, and he, but look, that's what it means. Because they grab a bondage of it. <laughs> hey, get down in the scriptures say that. Oh, me, it, uh, the talk. word manna means what is it? <laughs> that's what it is. That manna that the Israelites ate in the wilderness. Uh -huh. The scriptures tell you manna meaning what is it? <laughs> that's crazy. They didn't even know what it was. They couldn't explain it. You know, there was a man or two that they left up in the uh, Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark contained uh, the Ten Commandments on the stones, mm -hmm. some manna, and uh, uh, Aaron's uh, rod, his uh, right. staff. Yeah, Aaron's staff. Yeah. yeah. I know that's what they've been looking for that. Uh, the, mo it's, the scriptures tell you you got sealed away. You know about that scripture? No, I, I, the Lord sealed it and I made it. It's, it's in the book of uh, Baruch. <laughs> yeah, they tell you how... Uh, uh, Jeremiah took it to the Mount Sinai mm -hmm. and he put it in a cave and it said that the Lord sealed it, the entrance and no man could find it. But yeah, that, that's, that's some, some crazy stuff. We were talking about stuff. that last time Aaron tried. Uh, uh, I don't know if I, I'm trying to bring it to your attention. Yeah, it had a bud on it. Really? Like it said, a flower grew off of it. Did it? Yeah. yeah. They're supposed to use it to, use it to what? Um, what did he use it for? He did, he for it, well, he did use it when he turned it a staff into a snake. So, and when Moses was going through, they both had their staffs. And then when Moses was at the Red Sea, he lifted up his staff, his rod, whatever. I was reading somewhere, he said, uh, how was going to use it to, uh, to 
that's uh, right on the, the, the transgressions in their heart. Cause you know, really, the staff though, that's symbolic uh, too. Cause the Lord's called the good shepherd. All the shepherds had the staffs. So even even when you look at the the word Allah in Hebrew, it will mean God or power. You see it spelled with an A and an L. Cause you know the A represents the ox or the bull, which represents power, and that staff that the letter L represents, you know, leadership. Like, cause you, that's how you lead the sheep with the staff. See what I'm saying? So that's symbolic too, about how you're supposed to lead the sheep. This is uh, Exodus uh, 16 and 10. And it came to pass as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in a cloud. In that cloud, you know, I know what that cloud yeah, is. Yeah, that's some chariots, boy. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, I have heard the murmuring of the children of Israel. Murmuring ass Israelites. Speak unto them, saying, And even ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am the Lord with power. Yep. And it came to pass that at even the quails came up and covered the camp in the morning, and the dew lay round about the host. And when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoar rope frost on the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, it is manna. It is manna. For they wish not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. This is the thing which the Lord hath commanded. Gather of it every man according to his eating. And you know, go on. Israel was said, hell with that. They was grabbing bag loads of you know. Yeah, and it's rotten later on, remember? Yeah, because they turned into maggots or whatever, yeah, I think. Yeah, or it would mold yeah, or something. Right, something like that. Right, right. It was right. And then they, yeah, because that right there, that's the, because uh, they was murmuring, because they got tired of eating the manna. And like, we're tired of eating this. We want some meat. You know how Jake is. Undisciplined devils. Here it is, the Lord giving you some magical food. Right. You, you should be happy you got something at all. You know what I mean? Right. That's how Jake is. So they can't never have enough. You know, you give them something, and it's still not good enough. You know what I mean? What do you call them? A hard headed, stiff necked people? They ain't murmurs. Yeah. Always murmuring and shit, bro. Oh, you, like you always had Jake that don't like leadership. They want to be the leader. Right, 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 right. But that's how them, they was wanted to overthrow Moses. They still trying to do that today. And Omar for every man, according to the number of your persons, take ye every man for them which are in his lens. tents. And the children of Israel did so and gathered some more, some less. And when they did get it with an omer, <laughs> he that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little and had no lack. They gathered every man according to his eating. And Moses said, Let no man leave of it till the morning. Notwithstanding, they hearkened not unto Moses, not listen, but some of them left of it until the morning, and it bred worms and stink. Yeah, worms, yeah. And Moses was wroth with them. And they gathered it every morning, every man according to his eating. And when the sun waxed hot, it melted. Wow. Greedy ass niggas. Greedy ass niggas, yo. That's that greed, yeah. Greedy ass undisciplined.